Good morning. In addition to our mass intentions, let us also remember our first and frontline responders, our local faith communities, family, and friends. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers gathered this day giving thanks and praise to Almighty God. Let us once again open our minds and hearts to his ongoing call to mercy, healing, and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, you made St. Bernard a man and abbot to be consumed with zeal for your house and a light shining and burning in your church. Grant that through his intercession we may be on fire with that same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Sirach. He who fears the Lord will do this. He who is practiced in the law will come to wisdom. Mother-like, mother she will meet him. Like a young bride, she will embrace him, nourish him with the bread of understanding, and give him the water of learning to drink. He will lean upon her and not fall. He will trust in her and not be put to shame. She will exalt him above his fellows. And in the midst of the assembly, she will open his mouth and fill him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothe him with a robe of glory. Joy and gladness he will find, an everlasting name he will inherit. The word of the Lord. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, Teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of, my, of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, 
the world also does not know you. But I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known, that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Bernard, a simple man, an abbot, one who worked tirelessly for unity in the church, with great zeal for the house of the Lord. He continued to work many times against almost what seems insurmountable odds. And that seems to be the same for you and I. We try to live our faith. We try to share it with others. And yet sometimes the world is overwhelming like this huge tsunami wave. And we just duck and hide and run for cover, hoping that we're not washed away in some kind of flood. And yet, in the gospel today, Jesus prays for a unique unity that you and I, his followers, would be one with the Father and the Son. He has made known to us through the apostles, through the faith that has been handed on from generation to generation, to our grandparents, our parents, and godparents, indeed to us, that unique treasury of faith that sees us through many more days than we often think, that gives us a unique ability to try and try and try again. Try to bring that peace and that healing, that hope and comfort to a world that sometimes turns its back or even worse, derides the Christian faith, tries to snuff it out. Oh, we don't need that. Even when we have government leaders who claim to be Christian and yet to appease the voters, that overwhelming tsunami, they simply kowtow and they vote for abortion rights. They vote for those things that are so against the basic call of Christ. You and I also have a unique voice. It also should be heard and heard loudly, not in any militant kind of way because people turn their back and they don't listen but in a very genuine way, spoken from the heart, more so than just lip service. May we also have that same unique fire and grace of the Holy Spirit. May we also work tirelessly for unity among all Christians and among all peoples. It is a very difficult task and not for the faint of heart. And so let us pray for one another that as we all hear the call of Christ, we may come together as one and bring his peace, mercy, and healing to the world each day. My sisters and brothers, with great faith and hope, we entrust our prayers and petitions to the Lord this day. That the church its leaders and people, may lead others to God by the grace of the Holy Spirit and through the loving compassion of Christ. We pray to the Lord that all who are appointed as leaders of nations and of peoples may defend the safety, rights, and freedom of all whom they have been entrusted to serve. We pray to the Lord. that all who live in assisted living facilities or extended care facilities may be blessed with good health and always be shown the compassion by their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. That those who have died may be forever blessed in the peace of God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. And for those prayers, hopes, and petitions we hold this day, in the silence of our hearts. O 
O oh God, inspired and motivated by the Holy Spirit, may we always answer your call to faithful discipleship through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, our sacrifice, and the sacrifices of our own lives, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, we offer you the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and peace to your church. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their achievements, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. Through their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and archangels and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly ask, By that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended. He took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bernard, St. Paul the Apostle, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Lord, may this sacrifice of all reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm, in faith and charity, your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Pope Francis, Alberto, the bishop of this diocese, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayer of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, grant kind admittance into your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. United this day in voice and heart, and joining Christians throughout the world with faith, hope, and confidence, let us once again echo the prayer of the Savior. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church gathered here this day, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My sisters and brothers, for our world this day, for those who are near and dear to us, let us offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O Lord, may the food we have received as we honor St. Bernard continue its effect within us so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in the love of your incarnate word through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the grace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you, remaining with you now and forever. Our celebration is ended. Let us go forth each day to love and serve the Lord.